Welcome back, IB Economics students, to this first macroeconomics uh, lecture on IB Macroeconomics Unit 1. So Unit 1 is all about measuring economic activity using GDP, GNP, GNI figures. So the first, um, first uh, major subtopic you have to be able to be familiar, familiar with is the circular flow and income model. So in this video, we're going to be going over the major topics um, within Macroeconomics Unit 1 as well as some basic concepts you have to be able to understand coming into this unit. So the first things first, you have to be able to understand circular flow and income model. Okay, so there is basically three ways to calculate um, uh, GDP. There's the output approach, the income approach, and the expenditure approach. And theoretically, in, on, in theory and on paper, these three approaches should yield the exact same results. Why? Because of the circular flow of income model as uh, this graph shows right here. What does the circular flow income model show? It shows economic activity within a given economy. Relationships between the firms, the household, the capital sector, the government, and international and the international economy. So, okay, under this uh, subtopic, you have to be able to understand the diagram of the circular flow model. You have to be able to, dis um, to talk about what these uh, individual factors mean. Okay, what does the household mean? What does the firm mean? What does the capital sector mean? What does the government sector mean? Okay, you have to be able to understand this. You also have to be able to talk about the relationship between these. For example, the household provides labor for the firm. The firm provides wages and salaries to the household. Okay, so this is an example of a relationship between the two. So you have to be able to understand this. Um, outline the income um, flows in, in, in the different directions, the money flows. Okay, there's the output method, okay, where, where every, every, we look at every output for each of these sectors. There's an income method where we will look at each of the incomes of each of these sectors and the expenditure method. Okay? So theoretically, they, these three methods should be all the same. Okay? Uh, under this uh, section, you also have to be able to use diagrams to talk about the flow and talk about uh, leakages and expenditures and injections within the market. Leakages, are, for example, are household savings. Okay? So when, for example, when, when wages and salaries are paid from the firm to the household, household experience a leakage in the form of savings. Okay? Because the money is taken out of the circular flow, is taken out of the flow of the economy, and, and is saved up in a place. Therefore, a leakage occurs. Also, injections in the sense of loans are given um, because of fractional reserves. Okay, loans from the capital sector goes to firms and also loans and in interest rates goes to uh, households. This is another prime example of injections. Okay, so this is the first video. Okay, our video that is going to come out also today is going to be going over a circular flow of income model. After understanding this, another, the second major concept you have to be able to understand and talk about is measuring economic activity, okay? measuring economic growth, measuring economic activity. Now, there's basically a few ways um, economists measure economic activity. They normally, the, the most prominent one is GDP, okay? gross domestic product. But there's also gross national product and gross national income. Now, why, why is there differences? Because uh, um, it, it comes from the different approaches. There's the, in, um, the output approach, the income approach, and the expenditure approach. Now, theoretically, all three of these approaches should yield the same results. Okay. <laughs> However, in reality, sometimes because of the leakages, sometimes because of the injections, um, these uh, models do not accurately represent the GDP figures. Now, speaking of GDPs, you have to be able to talk about the flows of GDP uh, and calculation of the GDP. So right here, we have the calculation of the GDP figures. Now, we have nominal GDP versus real GDP. Nominal GDP does not account for uh, inflation or deflation or changes in the value of the currency. Well, real GDP does account for the changes in the, in, in, um, in, 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 the, in the value of the currency. Also, considering GDP figures, you have to also be able to talk about flaws in the GDP and, and, and flaws in using measures to, uh, and using GDP, GNP, or GNI to talk about and to measure economic activity. For example, flaws in GDP is that it does not measure the economic benefit or the economic impact on the society. Therefore, green GDP um, is, is implemented, um, also accounting for the, uh, for the environmental impact of economic activity. So for HL only students, you have to, have to be able to calculate uh, GDP figures using the necessary ingredients, for example, consumption, investment, government spending, exports, and imports. You also have to be able to calculate GMP and GNI figures using the necessary data, gross national product and gross national income. 
For HO students, you also have to be able to calculate in chem the difference between nominal and real GDP using a GDP deflator. Now, the no difference between a nominal and a real GDP is, of course, nominal GDP does not account for inflation, or real GDP accounts for inflation and changes in um, the value of the currency uh, uh, presented in. Okay? So these are the subtopics and the topics that, that uh, Unit 1 macroeconomic students under the IP system have to be able to understand and have to know. Um, if you know these, you could go to sleep and you do not have to um, uh, revise. If you have any questions about any of the things that we talked about, these two next videos, these next two videos are is going to talk about uh, the measures of econo economic activity, uh, which is Unit 1 in the macroeconomics syllabus. I hope this video is helpful in, in enlightening you and, and showing you the topics that we need to know. If it is, uh, leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.